hello friends so in this video we will see what is daisy ui and how we can use daisy ui with tailwind css okay so in this video we will learn how we can install and how we can use daisy ui with the tailwind css so let's start the video so we everyone know that tailwind css is getting very much popularity these days tailwind css is a good way to write css but there are some drawbacks in tailwind css there are limitations and uh, performance related things that can be uh, improved in tailwind css and that's where daisy ui comes in the picture so i will show you what is the problem with tailwind css first then i will show you how daisy ui can solve those problems okay so uh, let me go to uh, tailwind css project first so i already have a project and i have already installed tailwind css in my uh, machine so if you want to learn that how we, you can install tailwind css then i already have made a complete video on that you can check on my channel i have a dedicated playlist for tailwind css you can go through uh, in that playlist and you will find installation steps you can easily do the installation i will not cover in this video that will be unnecessary uh, wastage of time for uh, everyone so i have this tailwind css project okay so if i show you this is how it looks so i only have a button so the problem with tailwind css is that if you want to create any uh, component in ui then you have to apply so so many classes on that element so as you can see to create a single button i have to apply these many classes because in tailwind css each class is elementary itself so for creating a simple ui you have to apply many classes so this was the drawback so there are two drawbacks drawbacks of this thing first your code will look messy just assume you are just putting a button here and this much code you have to write just assume you have to create a full uh, page in that case the code will not look nice this was the one, one problem and another problem was related to the dom so if i check dom here dom element so inside this dom as you can see this this is the button and the, all the classes are applied in, in this dom also so it will increase the html size also because dom has to create all these classes all, also so it is also a bad thing for the performance so daisy ui comes in the picture to solve these two problems let me show you how it it solves basically daisy ui offers you a ready made uh, collection of uh, components that you can directly use inside tailwind css so first you have to install daisy ui uh, with tailwind css as a plugin and then you can use those components directly in your code and you will you have to you will skip lots of classes of tailwind css and directly use those components in your code let me show you how it works so first first of all we will go to the official website of daisy ui it says the most popular component library for tailwind css okay so this is a component library because the, you, they have created so many components basic components that you can directly use in tailwind css project okay so let me show you how it can work so how it use this is the these are the installation steps so i will copy this thing we have to install daisy ui first okay now i will install okay now daisy ui is getting installed okay in my in my packages now you can see daisy ui is installed okay so next step is then add daisy ui to tailwind configuration file as a plugin okay so i will copy this we have to add in the tailwind configuration file as a plugin here there is no plugin plugin as of now but i will add daisy ui as a plugin okay that's it so there are the only, only two steps to follow and daisy ui is done for you okay so let me show you how it works if i go here okay so this was the button we created with plain tailwind css now i will create a button using uh, using daisy ui okay i will go i will write to use a button sorry now i have to sorry i have to just apply class some classes and so to create a button there is already a predefined class in daisy ui there is a component btn okay you have to apply this class btn and your uh, your uh, button is ready but you have to give some change button color also because btn has some standard button ui so if you want to create similar similar look then you have to give this this look this uh, class okay now let me copy all this all, copy this also okay okay guys so we have to apply only three classes here and our button will be created let me show you how okay guys yeah as you can see uh, th these two buttons are almost similar and uh, one button needs this much uh, this much of 
CSS and on, in, in case of Daisy UI, we have to apply minimal CSS only. Okay, so this is the beauty of Daisy UI. But the Daisy UI is not a rocket science. It's very simple. Let me show you how it works, guys. Daisy UI just follow a simple process from Tailwind CSS. Let me show you how it works. So Tailwind CSS provides a uh, directive named apply. So we can create a similar library like Daisy UI using uh, that apply directive. So let me uh, try to do that. Let me uh, cut it. Okay. Now I will create try to create a custom uh, class. I will go to index CSS. Then I will I will say uh, my custom button. Okay, this is the class I created. Now, if I have to apply all the classes of Tailwind CSS, then directly I can use apply directive and then paste all the classes here. Okay. In the last, I will put semicolon. So guys, we have created uh, a custom class for our button, and we have inside that custom class we have applied some of the Tailwind CSS classes, predefined classes like this using apply directive from Tailwind CSS. So uh, we have created this custom class. Now we will use this custom class in our JSX. My custom class, my custom button. Okay, so this is the button, custom button. Now we will check if it works. Yes, guys, it is working fine. It means we can use apply directive and then we can create any of the style for for our components so and if i add our custom style here because we have just used tailwind css classes as of now but i will add some custom css also if i say background color is red okay let's see if it works or not yes guys it it, it is working it means instead of writing all the classes uh, in uh, as in line in the uh, jsx or in html only we can club those classes with our custom css also and use create a custom class like this and uh, then we can use that custom class in our jsx so that it the class structure becomes uh, simpler and dom dom is also simpler the same approach is used by daisy's ui also they have created this button class if you can see these these are the styles inside this button class they have uh, extensively covered all the scenarios for button like button disable button uh, uh, focus or everything they have uh, properly covered that and they have used this uh, apply thing and then use the same approach okay if we see if we go in the daisy ui website uh, this is the website and this is the uh, github repo for them <coughs> if we go daisy ui components and if we check button this is the button so you can see here they have used the same approach they have used apply and then they have used some classes from Tailwind CSS like this and they have some uh, written some custom classes also custom CSS also and enhance that UI and they have created these proper components basically so they, they, there are lots of predefined components let me show you how it works these are the components so Daisy UI already has created this uh, component these components and we can directly use inside our code if I say this is the drop down okay and if I show you how drop down looks yeah, this is the drop down okay and we can directly use this drop down in our code this is the code for that if i use this we can directly use this inside our code okay so with with the use of daisy ui you don't need to write all the classes again and again you can just use the standard components uh, offered by daisy ui let me show you so this is open or close now we are able to open and close okay and we can also add some custom classes or anything we can uh, add here also uh, this is totally customizable so if these are the uh, these are the standard components and we can enhance its look and feel uh, using our custom css also so let me show you a few other components as well card component is there so if you if you are making some uh, shopping website or something then you can use this card component directly okay so these are the components offered by daisy ui and you can directly use these components so these are the most famous and mostly commonly used uh, components so they already has created these components so the components are button drop down model swap theme controller accordion avatar badge card crozel so you can check all the components the breadcrumbs bottom navigation so they have properly categorized all the components and then you can uh, these you use these components for, for free just copy paste and uh, copy use this this code for jsx or html and you will be able to use directly from uh, from their uh, library 
okay so this is a collection of all the components properly maintained with the some with standard ui and there are multiple variation also if i uh, if i show you this is the uh, this is our just assume this is our text input okay so there are multiple options also like here this is this this text input doesn't have border okay now it has border okay no background so these are the all the vari variants these are primary color or vertically picked from tailwind css configuration file so primary secondary so these are the all the variants available for each component so you can easily use these components in your code directly all the components are covered mainly what we use in our day to day routine as a developer all the components are already there so you can use those components so this is the beauty of daisy ui and because they because of the daisy ui ui you can you can make a fast development in tailwind css and while, while you, are, you are using tailwind css you must use daisy ui it will uh, enhance your speed and it will enhance your you know code quality and performance as well so this this is the beauty of daisy ui that's why it is getting popularity day by day okay guys so if you have any question related to daisy ui or tailwind css or anything you can write down in the comment i will try to answer those questions and if you want to learn tailwind uh, css properly then you can follow my playlist for tailwind css i have covered most of the topics for tailwind css uh, playlist is in my channel you can see all the videos okay thank you so much if you like this video please uh, comment share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye